Well, welcome to the British Shooting Show, and I've just managed to grab this gentleman here for a few minutes. We're here on the Browning stand. Um, David, an amazing day. It certainly is, John. It's uh, been a very sta uh, constant stream of people. Very good to see them, and uh, here we go for day three. Uh, absolutely. It's been some great inquiries. Yeah. Now, come on. A lot of new product here today. Yeah. As, as usual, we use the nice. yeah we use the uh, the British Shooting Show to launch a lot of our new product into the into the uh, market, yeah. and it's a great launching platform. And we're delighted to bring the new 725 20 gauge. Come on, come on, let's have a, uh, have a look at that one. Um, it's been uh, very well received already in the last two days, but um, obviously the, the the 12 gauge has been a superb success for us. So it was natural to expand the range into different calibers. So this is the first That's of nice, them. It? It's the 20 gauge. It's a game gun only. So obviously uh, got a six millimeter top rib. And we actually do this gun in, in two different forms. So this is uh, the one you've got here, John, is the, uh, what we call the Prince of Wales. So you've got the Prince of Wales uh, stock and the game parallel forend. Uh, it shares the same engraving that we use for the 12 gauge yeah. um, and it also has the mechanical trigger from the uh, the 12 gauge as well so it's a very reliable product a very good um, mechanism that, exactly um, also the uh, the choking system which is the ds the double seal choke system we use in the in the 12 gauge we've got that now incorporated into the 20 ball barrels as well so oh, it's right. that same very very clean uh, choke system yeah and, um, and what are we looking at barrel length on these well, we've been asked to do a 32-inch game gun as well because oh, that is? seems to be the, the the trend at the moment to have a longer barrel, smaller calibre. Right. So yes, this comes in a 28, a 30, and a 32-inch. Oh, right, so that's covered everybody's yeah, requirements. Yeah, it's been, now, uh, isn't it? been very well received, and two thousand pounds. So uh, you know, for a, a recommended price of nineteen hundred ninety-nine pounds, it's a fantastic. Uh, game it's gun. a fantastic gun with a browning stamp on it, isn't yeah. it? And you get all the browning guarantees on the on the action and the uh, the woodwork as well. Lovely. Okay, does that lead us on to anything else? What else have we got? In this uh, well, range? I can show you the other the other uh, variation of the uh, of the twenty gauge if you like. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have a look at that. Let me hold that, and then we can do a comparison. Okay, so, now. So what have we got then? So okay, just, so just very subtle differences. Subtle differences. I mean, it's still a twenty gauge, seventy five. Yeah. Um, this one has the standard what you would sort of recognises a standard browning woodwork. You've got the Schnabel forend here and the standard browning stock. Yeah. Um, one thing I should note as well is, being a game gun, we do supply auto safe parts in the box. So if you do want it fitted with the auto safety, you can do that, no problem at all. All right. And we also share the, the 725 pad system, the Inflex pad, uh, which has a three stage pad. So you can increase or decrease the length of pull very, very simply. So if you have oh, a- so I just change the pad. Just over. change the pad, two screws. Take it off, put it back on again. If you're wearing a big jacket in the winter, for instance, you don't need the gun quite so long. Yeah. You can put a, a shorter pad on. No so it's very simple. And, and does, does it come with the, with the pads in no, it? It comes with a, a 20 mil pad as standard, yeah. but you can buy as an optional extra a, a thinner 12 mil pad it. or a, a thicker 25 mil pad. And, 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 what, and what, where are we at the, uh, the four MBs? Just a slight change on that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, um, well, you've still got the same uh, four point checkering uh, on both models, but uh, obviously the, the profile of the four ends is slightly different. This is what we call a, a London game four end, and this is the standard Schnabel four end. Again, barrel sizes, very similar to this model? Uh, barrel lengths are the oh, same, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, up to 32 inch, uh, and they're all backboard uh, with increased forcing cones as well, length and forcing cones, so we're reducing the recoil uh, to make the gun more it's comfortable to, to shoot. Now, now you have gone with the market, because I mean, there's two guns on the marketplace, either or is going to fit the bill of treat, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, it's, just uh, sort of it's, it's quite interesting, John. A lot of people that handle both of the guns, they have a quite a strong preference for one or the other so it's great to have a gun that will fit almost yeah, everybody absolutely okay i'm gonna out of the two both both wonderful guns i'm on this one okay well that's good because i like this one isn't it queer <laughs> yeah, this is, I, I like this yeah very nice indeed very nice indeed. and we say and, and again okay, available 32 inch barrel 32 inch um 32 inch only on the game, the UK game version the at the moment, game but version. I'm sure we can probably arrange a 32 well, inch in I was going to say, it, it, if it well. proves to be popular, yeah. I'm sure it's going to be on the, on, on the agenda yeah. very, very quickly, isn't it? But I have to say, smashing pair of guns. They are lovely, but we've been waiting a long time for a nice 20 gauge gun and um, we've got it. But you've now got two wonderful guns, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, they, they are great. Yeah. Obviously grade one only at the moment, but as usual with Browning, we launch with the, the grade one and then we move it through and go for the higher grade later on. 
fantastic. David, always a pleasure to catch up. Thank, Thank you, John. Show, nice to see you. It. Thank, Thank you. you very much.